Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at downloading OBS Studio 20.0 and we're going to be taking a look at the new features they have to offer in this version. First you need to head on over to the link that's in the description below and you end up on their page that looks like this. You now need to select the Windows logo and click Download Installer. Once you clicked on that you now need to select save file and give that a couple of seconds to, the, to download. Once that's finished downloading you now need to run this setup file and we're going to go yes and you now want to go on to next I agree and we're going to go next install. Just give that a couple of seconds to install. Once that's finished installing, we can now go finish and launch OBS Studio. And we're just going to go OK. And let's just go on to yes for now for the auto configuration. Optimize for streaming, recording is secondary or optimize for recording depending on if you're using OBS for streaming or if you're just going to be recording video footage to your local hard drive depends on which option you choose here. I'm just going to go for optimize just for recording. I'm now going to go next and here you can see it's selected the resolution for my monitor and the frames per second that's fine and it's just going to test all that out which should take a couple of seconds. Now that's finished you can hit apply setting and let's just maximize OBS 20. This is it this is the latest version and we're just going to go through a few of the features now. As soon as I click on view, you will see we've got a full screen interface option. This is new to version 20 and as you can see, OBS is now in full screen. If you've got it on the second monitor, that means you cannot accidentally click on anything else, which is a really great feature. It also gives that extra bit of full screen, allowing you to see it and yeah. Anyway, let's hit F11. F11 and take it out full screen and let's just maximize it again and once again if we go over to view you'll see we got docs and here we got a lock UI option if we deselect lock UI and all this is new anyway in docs if I select for instance scenes as you can see down the bottom there it's now disappeared which means you don't have to have all this rubbish down the bottom if you don't want to. Anyway, let's put scenes back as that's like one of the most important parts of OBS. And if we go back to view and go to docs, you can select lock UI. And what this does is it allows you to play around with all these docs down the bottom. You can literally just hold on to it. Um, if we just click here. Oh, no, there, sorry. And it just pops out the scenes, as you can see, and I can move it around to wherever I want. I can also take it onto my desktop like that. I can have scenes over there. I can pop the mixer out, and I can have the mixer down here. Or if I really want to, I could pop the mixer back in there and swap places with the sources, which is great because that gives you that um, bit of freedom, allowing you to put the docs where you want as you might prefer a different sort of location from. Anyway, moving on to one of the next biggest parts of this update, which is if we go into tools, and not tools, sorry, go into file and go to settings. And now if we go down to advanced, nope, I think it was general. Yeah, it was general. And here we got theme and it's set to default. If we now select this bottom theme here and we hit apply, look at that. That looks absolutely amazing. This is the new theme for OBS 20. It gives the interface a nice, a nice better look than the original white and black. It just, I like it. It makes it look a lot nicer, if that's such a word anyway. But yeah, other than that, there's a few other little bits they've done to the new update which I will put a link in the description below so you can see all the changes on your web browser. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.